good morning everyone now in this lecture we have studied for the approximation theory now in this lecture we have studied to approximate binomial probabilities by the normal curvaria and to approximate poisson probabilities by normal curvaria now for the binomial distribution the values of the right of each is equal to sin r primary included for the illustrated purpose the equalities which hold in the binomial distribution do not hold in the normal distribution because there is a gap between the conjugative values of a particular points the normal approximation deal with this by the splitting these differences for example for examples for examples in a binomial distribution in a binomial in a binomial we can write the probability of x less than 6 so we can write in this form directly in a by with the help of approximation theory probability of x less than 7 because since since 6 is the next possible value 6 is the next possible value next possible value of x that is less than 7 in normal in a normal we approximate we approximate this by finding probability of x less than equal to 6.5 why we take the 6.5 because in a normal distribution is a symmetric distribution an area under the normal curve is equal to 1 and it is divided in two parts is 0.5 they had the area under the normal curve we know that this is the portion is 0.5 and this area is also 0.5 both are symmetric that's why we can adjust by the with the help of approximation theory means we use the correction for the continuity methods so that's we can write the probability of x less than 6 is equal to probability of x less than equal to 6.5 now the next in binomial in binomial in binomial also we write also in binomial probability of x greater than 6 to we write in a binomial distribution directly probability of x is greater than 5 because because 6 is the next possible value 6 is the next value of x value of x that is greater than 5 in the normal we can write in the normal form we in the normal we approximate we approximate this by finding probability of x is greater than equal to 5.5 and suppose here we given that in a binomial suppose we use for the this this, this the evo rule this rule is known as known as 
this rule is known as correction of continuity correction for continuity continuity this is the correction for continuity now then we move forward to approximate to approximate to approximate binomial to approximate binomial probability probabilities by normal curve area by normal curve area so in a binomial distribution in a binomial binomial distribution we know that x follows the binomial distribution parameter is n into p and p of x is equal to n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x and x equal to 0 1 2 dot dot n and where p plus q is equal to 1 this is the binomial distribution but where the large number where the approximated theory is applied by the normal curves then we write for the step number one here we write for the step number one step one step one find the value of find the value of n find the value of n n means what the number of the number of trials number of trials and p the probability of success probability probability of success probability of success the first to identify in a binomial distribution now the second step step number two is what continue continue only if both NP and NQ are 5 or greater 5 or greater means we can we can apply approximation theory approximation we can apply approximation theory means here we use to approximate the binomial probabilities by the normal curves now step number four step number no step number third find find the value of find the value of mu and sigma using the formula using the formula mu is equal to np and sigma is equal to under root npq now we go for the step number four
make the correction for continuity make the correction make the correction for continuity make the correction for continuity step number 5 find the required area find the required area under the normal curve under the normal curve with parameter with parameter mu and sigma means then how to find suppose x follows the normal distribution mu and sigma square and after that we go for the transformation here to so we use the transformation in minus mu by sigma it follows the standard normal variate is the parameter is mu is 0 and sigma is 1 this is the step number 1 2 3 4 5 we used to approximate the binomial probabilities by the normal curve now we go for the one example here learned for one example example suppose suppose x follows the binomial distribution 12 0.5 then what is the value what is the values of probability x lies between 4 to 7 now solution is first to identify that here is approximation theory is applicable or not so just the suppose binomial is given now we move for the to approximate the binomial probabilities by the normal curve area so first to identify the step number one then now the step number one find the values of in here according to the binomial distribution we know that the parameter is given in and p is already given therefore the in is equal to 12 and p is equal to 0 0.5 and we know that q is equal to 1 minus p also therefore 1 minus 0 0.5 we write the 0 0.5 is coming now the second step continue only if both NP first we find the NP what is the value of 12 into 0 0.5 is equal to 6 and now after that we identify the NQ NQ is equal to 12 into 0 0.5 here is coming 6 now NP is greater than 5 and nq is also greater than 5 means we can we can apply we can apply approximation theory we can apply approximation we can apply approximation theory so now we move for the third step third step is what find find mu and sigma so here mu is equal to what mu is equal to np to be directly write the values of n is equal to 6 and sigma is equal to under root np q 
therefore NPQ is equal to under root NP is given 6 and Q is equal to 0 0.5 means here is coming root 3 now the fourth is fourth step is make the correction of continuity make the correction of continuity means that we can adjust by the probability for x lies between 4 to 7 by the make the correction of continuity here both side is adjusted then with the help of plus minus 0 0.5 now we go for the minus 4 minus 0 0.5 is coming 3.5 and here is x less than here is 7.5 this is by the correction by by correction for continuity continuity by the correction of continuity now after that we go for the five step fifth step is what find the required area under the normal curve means that here is the x follows the binomial distribution now we use for the x follows the binomial x follows the binomial distribution but now in approximation theory here we use the transformation x converted in the form of say x minus mu by sigma is equal to x minus mu is 6 and here is root 3 it follows the standard normal variate 0 n of 0 comma 1 now solve the problem here probabilities of 4x less than 7 by the correction of continuity we can write the 3.5 less than x and x less than 7.5 here now after that just this uh, x is converted in the form of z that's why we can write here 3.5 minus 6 by root 3 for x minus 6 by root 3 here for 7.5 minus 6 by root 3 now after calculation we get the values of here is minus 1.443 and this is also value for z less than 0 0.866 now here we directly we can write in the form of directly we can write this is for what this is for the probabilities of probably this is for the capital phi in by the normal distribution capital phi of 0 0.866 minus capital phi of minus 1.443 now after that we find the values so we, with the help of normal tables so just i am um, lay here the so just minutes
here for need forward now in this section we here need forward 0 0.826 0 0.826 here we find it 0 0.8 here is 0 0.8 0 0.8 now we go for the here J values the score is 0 0.2 0 0.6 so now in these sections we have learned that 0 0.8 and after that we go for the 0 0.6 0 0.06 point in corresponding to we go for this 0 point these values are given here is given 0 0.80511 511 we take the fourth digit only we take the decimal places for this and after 6 is given so just we add 7 here and after we no need to check just we add 6 so we do we have collected for the up to 4 digit otherwise we take the 4 5 digit no problem there we write 0 0.80517 here we write for the 0. 80517 minus and now we go for the minus 1 point minus 1.43 minus 1.42 0 0.4 now in this table we have learned this minus minus 0 0.24 It is coming zero point zero seven four nine three. We we'll add four. Just we go for the zero point zero seven four nine seven. Now here we write for the minus 0 0.07497 and after subtraction what is coming so just we subtract it so we have applied 0 0.80517 minus 0. 07497 this is coming from 0 0.7302 so this is the answer by the approximation theory so this is the normal tables and we have utilized this table and now after that the two approximate two approximate two approximate Poisson probability probabilities by normal curve area by normal by normal curve area by the normal curve area now the step number one here is the step number one find the value of find the value of lambda lambda means average it here is average rate 
so in a normal distribution x follows the uh, binomial in a Poisson distribution x follows the Poisson distribution and lambda is the average rate and we can say that the failure rate also and probability of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x by factorial x and x equal to 0 1 2 dot 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 so this is the step number one and uh, step number two continue only if lambda is greater than 20 lambda is greater than 20 so lambda is greater than 20 means that what happened so we can we can apply we can apply approximation theory approximation we can apply approximation theory here now the step number third find find mu and sigma using formula using the formula same patterns but here is a Poisson is a lambda just we check the lambda mu is equal to what in a Poisson distribution is a lambda and variance is equal to sigma is equal to under root lambda now the step number four make the correction make the correction for continuity make the correction for continuity make the correction for continuity now step number five here step number five step number five find the required area find the required area required area under the normal curve normal curve with parameters mu and sigma so here we can use the transformation j is equal to x minus mu by sigma we can write here x minus lambda by under root lambda it follow the normal distribution with parameter 0 and 1 so now these are the step for to approximate the portion probabilities by the normal curve area so now we go for the example here so just we go for the one example here a radio active source radio active source radioactive source emits particles particles at an average average rate of 25 particles per second what is the probability what is the probability that what is the probability that in one second 
what is the probability that in one second the count is less than count is less than 27 particles particles so now in this question solution for this question is x follows the number of particles number of particles emitted in one second means that x follows the Poisson distribution lambda means we can write here x follows the Poisson of 25 means lambda is given here the first to identify the first step lambda is 25 now the second step just we check lambda is equal to 25 is greater than 20 means we can apply the we can use the we can apply approximation theory we can apply the approximation theory so here we can apply to approximate the Poisson probabilities by the normal curve area now we will go for the third step find the values of mu here mu is equal to lambda we can write 25 and sigma is equal to under root lambda means 25 we write here 5 now the fourth step is what make the correction for continuity in according to the question count is what count is less than x is less than 27 so we can easily we can write in the form of in a normal distribution in a normal we write x is less than x is less than 26.5 here x is less than 26.5 by the correction for continuity by the correction for continuity by the correction for continuity and after that we go for the fifth step here the find the area under the normal curve then in this section we use the transformation here z is equal to x minus lambda under root lambda here therefore x minus 25 and here under root lambda is equal to 5 it follows the normal distribution now the step number 4 then x can be transferred in the form of z so by the help of normal curve area so now in this section we go for the probability x less than 27 is equal to probabilities of x less than 26.5 now after that we convert we can write x minus 25 by 5 less than 26.5 minus 5 by 5 and here we have seen that this is also known as the word z and z and we can calculate here the point here is f 5 is given 25 is given now we calculate it here is coming 0 0.3 here is 0 0.3 is coming means 20 to 25 1.5 is coming here is 5 0 0.3 is coming 0 0.3 and after that this is what this is the cumulative distribution then we can write in directly in the normal area standard normal variates 
of area under the normal curves, we write the capital phi of 0 0.53 directly and after that we calculate this value with the help of with the help of table so we move forward so go for the table here here is only for is given 0 0.5 0 0.3 is what only for 0, 0.0 because here it is mentioned only for the 0 0.3 so just we write for 0 0.61791 0 0.61791 this is the answer is 0 0.61791 seven nine one this is the two approximate this is the example for the two approximate Poisson probabilities by the normal curve area so now we go for the next example on the last example for this question so just we identify there the question is determine determine the probability determine the probability that by guesswork a student and correctly answer 25 to 30 questions 25 to 30 questions in multiple choice consisting consisting of 80 questions consisting of 80 question assume that Each question with four choices only one choice only one choice is correct only one choice is correct knowledge as the question first to identify the question determine the probability that determine the probability determine the probability that by the guesses work as a student can correctly answer 25 to 30 question in a multiple choice question consisting of according to the question we identify that what is the value for here is n is equal to what n is equal to 80 and now what is the values of p here what is the values of p here the answer in each question with a four choice means the probability of success is one by four four choices and one is only one is correct 
is only one is correct and a student has no knowledge means that twist follows x follows the binomial distribution here is the binomial a t and p is given 1 by 4 and just we go for the identify 1 minus p is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 is go for the 3 by 4 also 3 by 4 and this is the first step now second step identify the np here np is equal to 80 into 1 by 4 is equal to 20 is greater than 5 and now we move for the nq here n is 80 into 3 by 4 is equal to 20 here is coming from the 60 is greater than 5 both are greater than 5 means we can apply approximation we can apply approximation theory now the step number third find the value of mu here mu is equal to np means we directly we write the 20 and now sigma is equal to under root np q and here np is 20 and q is equal to 3 by 4 that is 5 we write only for the under root under root 15 under root 15 is equal to what 3.873 this we find the square root of this now here is, here is what x follows the normal distribution here mu 20 and sigma square is 15 Now the step number four, here in a question is given, find the question, find the correctly answer 25 to, means correctly answer x lies between 25 to 30. So by the fourth step, by the make the correction of continuity, so we can write here 24.5. X less than 30.5 and now the step number 5 here is the use for the X is a converted area under the normal curve means that X is converted with the help of transformation in a Z form by using the normal curve area here we write for the Z is equal to X minus mu by sigma here the x minus mu is equal to what 20 and sigma is equal to 3.873 this follows the normal distribution with parameter 0 and 1 standard normal variate and now our target to convert these values probability of 24.5 x lies between 24.5 to 30.5 so here we have convert the probability 24.5 minus 20 divided by 3.873 less than x minus 20 by 3.873 30.5 minus 20 by 3.873 now after calculation we get the values of probabilities of 1.16 less than j less than 2.71 and after that we write this value capital phi of 2.71 minus
capital phi of 1.16 so according to the table we find these values so here is values are coming is 0 0.99 six six four and here is coming zero point eight seven six nine eight now answer is coming zero point one one nine six six maybe you can check here just we go for and check this values one minute 0 0.99664 minus 0 0.87698 here is coming 0 0.11966 this is the answer for this question so thank you guys thank you for watching my video so please be like and comments